What's up guys? How you doing YouTube? What's up Tube? What's going on? Today, got some killer stuff. More stuff for the D-Max. Doormax, Mad Max, you guys know. Hope you guys are having a great day. Time to get right into it today. First, be sure to follow me over on Facebook, the book, the FB, Real Joseph Corey, Instagram, and TikTok, Real Joseph Corey, as well as Twitter, Real Joseph Corey. Check me out over on YouTube, youtube.com forward slash Joseph Corey, as well as twitch.tv forward slash Joseph Corey, and Joseph Corey Gaming.com for all your exclusive merch, including Driveway Demons, because that's the new home for Driveway Demon Store, is Joseph Corey Gaming. Let's get right into it today, guys. I've got these awesome toe mirrors. If you guys are looking at getting some better toe mirrors for your Duramax, I'm gonna show you guys the best ones to get, and that is the ones I have right here link in the information box below and right there on the bottom of the screen to get you guys your own set of toe mirrors for your 2007 through 2015 Duramax. And they look just like the 2016 and up. The problem is you can't go to the dealership and buy the 2016 and up because they won't fit the seven through 16s, they are seven through 15s, excuse me. They won't fit. And it's because of the bracket on GMs. So they don't quite line up unless you wanna drill a hole and whatnot. But however, if you wanna get ones that are a lot more affordable and don't wanna spend six, $700 on a set of mirrors, these are the ones for you. I'm gonna show you guys step-by-step step on how to install them. They look so great. The only problem is I wanna get the daytime running lamps to run on the mirrors and that's difficult. As I've done this before in many other vehicles, but it seems like there's a lot of electronics going on in these mirrors and they don't wanna turn on for DRLs. So we're gonna maybe wait for that for a little bit later, but let's get right into this install. Let me show you guys how epic these mirrors are. So here's the brand new mirrors. Just open up the box. This is the cables that go. I already have the other mirror set up and ready to be installed, but this is how they come packaged, ready to go with the foam, the extra cable down here. Let's get right at them and show you guys exactly how to do this. Super easy. I do wanna make these uh, run with the DRL lights, but it seems to be a very difficult task. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this. It's pretty easy. Gonna remove this clip here, pull this tab out, remove this little clip right here, or this little plate. We're gonna move this little plate, and then we're gonna take off the one, two, and three bolts. This will be removed, so everything else will be done. We'll pop this up and disconnect it. And we're gonna pull forward, remove the door panel, and we're gonna get started. So I'm just going to get behind it gently. The guy who owned it before me, I think, did it very rough because there's like a little indent there. Gonna pull up completely. You don't even have to disconnect that all the way. So the door handle, much easier, might I add. Uh, put a little flathead screwdriver gently and pull up and away from the door panel. It just comes right off. As long as you do it with the right amount of pressure, it just comes right out. And then removing this one is the same thing. We're just gonna put a screwdriver in here just and pull up gently. Just comes right out. It's firmly in there, but it comes out once you pull up on it. And you can see there's two screws there. So all we're gonna do is just remove those two screws. This one up here. Now we're gonna remove the door control panel. But other than this control panel right here, which we're removing, the only thing we really have to do is just remove those bolts and then pull on the clips to pull the door panel off. And you wanna use a plastic pry tool, not a metal one. Otherwise, you could damage something. I'm gonna remove these three bolts, disconnect this, and then use a plastic pry tool. You're gonna to put it in the bottom corner down here and pull forward, and then move your way over and pull forward, and then all these should snap off, and you should be able to pull the rest of the door panel off. Typically, on these trucks, I don't see a lot of clips breaking, and if they do, it's usually one or two of the white ones over here. The blue clips over on this side don't seem to break ever on these trucks, and I don't know why, but you might get one or two white ones that break. All right, guys, the door panel is off. This piece right here, you're gonna put a flathead screwdriver in, you're gonna pinch these two tabs. This will pop off the door and just pull the ball out. Make sure that your tabs are all in place. This needs to come off, and I will let you guys know that 
on these corner covers for the mirrors, you're always gonna have a tab that breaks. Every truck I've ever removed these on, at some point, a tab will break. Gonna have to buy a new one of those, which is typical. The line for the mirror is right here. It comes right behind this foam, all the way over here to the door control panel and door switch, which is this wire right here. Just gonna remove that. This retainer clip does not need to be removed. All you gotta do is pinch it to get the mirror off. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay guys, as you see here, I reused the factory clips and taped them to the new cable, push them in place. This way they don't get caught in the door when you roll the mirror up and down. You definitely wanna make sure that these are in place. Everything is good to go. You can see I got the mirror installed right there. So if you guys are wondering how to get this cable through the body molding rubber boot here, you're just gonna take your antenna off your Duramax and tape it to the end of the antenna. Stick the antenna all the way through here by wiggling it around and straightening it out. It's gonna be a little bit of a job and you'll get them through to the other end and remove it from the antenna and pull the antenna out. It's a little trick that I've been using for years for that kind of stuff. This rubber boot comes off on each side as you can see with a tab on the top and they just unclip from the body and the door. Everything is installed properly. You can see here the antenna has made it all the way through. So all I'm gonna do is disconnect the wire via the electrical tape here, pull the wire through and pull the antenna out the other side, Dunzo. Now it really depends on how you guys wanna hook these lights up that are on the mirrors. I didn't really wanna run these just for reverse. I'm gonna run them when the parking lights are on. Most times, if your parking lights are on, your headlights are on. So that pretty much means when it's dark outside, you're gonna have your lights or your dimmers on. And when you do that, these will light up and help you back up because you really don't need light to back up if it's during the day. And if you're in a parking garage and it's dark in there, you're probably gonna have your dimmers or your headlights on anyway, or your daytime running lights will come on. And therefore, these will be there. So when you're going down the road, you're gonna be lighting up the side of your truck. But not only that, people behind you will see it. And it'll also help in foggy situations to help along with your tail lights. These are called reverse fog lights. They're very big in Europe, but typically they go in the back of the truck or back of the vehicle, but these will run all the time. I have set them to run anytime the dimmers are on. They won't come on unless the dimmers are on. If you wanna hook it up to your dimmers, you're gonna hook it up, I'll show you, to fuse number 23 and 24. I suggest hooking them up the way I did with your dimmers. And that is over here, you'll see fuse 23 and 24. 23 right here is driver side, 24 passenger side, run your positives inside the fuse panel and tap your ground onto the battery which is right over here. And I've got all the wires tucked neatly. It's just, unfortunately, this one wire has got to be on the battery. I'm gonna do some more wire tucking, but it's pretty much good to go. I'm gonna show you guys, I've come all the way over here and I have run the cable through here and I've already put this back so there's no wires anywhere. Everything is a clean install. I have the wires coming up here I tucked them behind this cover and I ran them all the way over here to the driver's side. I'm gonna tuck and hide these even better, get some extensions for them and run the other one from the driver's side door. They're gonna be all taped and zip tied up under the dashboard. Then I'm gonna run them through to the fuse box which will hook them up. One thing I think is sick is these LEDs right here on the back of the mirror. Oh my God, they look so good. And they really light up the back of the driveway. If you see right here, the LEDs are off and now they're on. They really help with backing up, that's for sure. As you guys can see, significantly better than the other mirrors. Looks so much better way better than the old mirrors, no doubt. We all know this is the setup the truck should have come with, but it didn't, so we have to do it the hard way. And as you guys can see, it just looks fabulous.
It is incredible. In fact, I think this sets the truck off way more than I even thought it would. To be quite honest, I knew it was gonna be good, but I just think it looks even better now that I see it in person and it's done. It, it, it's just incredible. All right, guys, as you can see behind me, the Duramax has the epic 2016 and up tow mirrors, and they look so good, so good. Like, it just changes the whole design of the vehicle, basically. For some reason, it's just such a small thing, but so big. And I'm thinking that I should have done this a long time ago. I don't really know why I kind of procrastinated on doing this for the last year and a half, two years. I've always wanted to do it. But finally, it's done two and a half years later after buying the Duramax, and it looks incredibly good. And I got a lot of things coming for the Duramax. Tow mirrors look incredible. Be sure to follow me over on Facebook for the live game streams if you haven't already. Facebook.com forward slash Real Joseph Corey. You can also find me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, Real Joseph Corey. And you can find me on YouTube and Twitch at Joseph Corey, which is twitch.tv forward slash Joseph Corey, youtube.com forward slash Joseph Corey. And if you guys want to get some Driveway Demons merchandise, you're going to do that at josephcoreygaming.com. That is my gaming channel store, and that is where the exclusive home of Driveway Demons merchandise is going to be going forward, so be sure to check it out, josephcoreygaming.com. But that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks so much for stopping in. Be sure to subscribe, tap the bell, comment below, and share the video. Got lots of stuff coming on the Duramax. Also picking up another Duramax as I'm gonna be doing a lot of truck content. Been wanting to do this for a while and we also are waiting on a word from Dodge on the Donut Maker competition. So we'll see you guys in the next upload. Be sure to take care of yourselves. Be safe, peace and love for you and we'll catch you on the flip side. Deuces, I'm out.